Do you think Shorty Wap went to check out these resources? Countries can confiscate your passports if you break their laws. You are subject to them. Hi everybody, welcome back to the AV7 YouTube channel. I was gonna take the day off, but you know what? Duty calls. As you guys know, my studio is still under construction, so I'm finding creative ways to still film videos in my house. We're in a different location today. Do you guys like my buns? Let's talk about this case, shall we? This woman from Houston who got arrested in the UAE. She went to Dubai on vacation, rented a car, Damage happened to the car. Shout out to O'Shea and MTR. They covered it. I'm not even going to go into the details. I'm not going into the facts today. What I want to talk to you guys about is different legal systems, okay? So from a legal perspective, we can look at what this woman did. I mean, I could show you this. You are not allowed to wear really short shorts. You're not allowed to wear spaghetti straps when you're eating breakfast because it is not allowed and you have to respect the culture at all times. And then bring the B-roll in. Then I could show you this. You cannot wear dresses, fitted clothes, and you know, revealing clothes. We know that there's a lot of shenanigans happening. There's nothing we can do about that. But what I can do is give you guys a sensible legal perspective on what happened, why it was wrong, why this person's passport got compensated and what happens in situations like this. I went to law school and even in undergrad and pre-law, this was something that I learned. And it was really understanding that other countries have different legal systems that are very different from America. Giving you guys an example, recently we had Roe v. Wade overturned about a year ago. And with that precedent, states are actually allowed to handle those things, but it's based off of the United States Constitution. What we're looking at in the UAE is a mixture of two types of law. They have a mixture of the civil law system and the Sharia law system. So let's start with understanding a civil law system. So a civil law system is really a legal system that's based off of codes, kind of like us, we have laws, we have codes, we have things that are written. In the United States, we have the constitution. In other countries, you may have a body of laws codified in some writing. What we do here in the United States is we have a writing, which is the United States constitution, but we also have things like precedent. So as I mentioned with that case, Roe v. Wade, notice that that case was overturned, right? That means it set the precedent. The law changes in the future based off of the outcome of that particular case. In a civil law system, laws are typically codified. They're very detailed. They don't change. They covered a wide range of legal issues and situations. This type of legal system is typically followed by countries that follow a Roman legal system. Most countries in continental Europe still follow this now. And you might also find this in some parts of Asia and Latin America as well. A Sharia legal system is based off of Islamic culture, and it's also based off of Islamic law, which is the Sharia. It's also derived from the Quran and the Hadith. Sharia covers a wide range of topics, and guys, I'm just using my phone here just to make sure I give you accurate information. It includes personal matters such as as marriage, you'll also see things like divorce, topics like inheritance, as well as the criminal and commercial law. As you guys can see, this is heavily based off of a religious culture in addition to a legal system that has aged back to hundreds of years. The Sharia legal systems are enforced in countries where Islam is the official religion. I'm not gonna go too, too, too into it because I just want you guys to understand what the differences are. What code or what law in particular did this woman break. Social media influencer Tierra Young Allen has been detained since May after she got into a car accident in Dubai and then attempted to retrieve some personal belongings from a rental car company. And that's when things started to go sideways. The rental company worker told her that she needed to pay money in order to get her items back, including her ID, her credit card, and some other personal belongings. Tierra's mom says that the worker was aggressive and started screaming at Tierra. 
And Tierra then screamed back. She was charged with screaming in public, which is a crime in Dubai. Now that we understand that this is based off of a conservative religion where people have really taken the time to think about how they want the culture to evolve over time, how they want the culture to thrive. Right? It is very disrespectful in certain cultures to raise your voice. It's very disrespectful in certain cultures to do things in public that could be done in the home. The moral of this story is that people do not know what resources are out there. I found this class that I took while I was getting my bachelor's degree super fascinating because what the professor made us do, and I forget the, the name of the class, I think it was like um, global law or something like that, right? We had to actually learn about how other legal systems worked in other countries. Did an essay and it was kind of fun. You had to uh, pick a country anywhere in the world. You had to first look up their legal system. Then you had to understand what you could and could not do in that country. You know, let's say we're going to Italy, right? Everybody wants to go to Italy. Let's go to Milan. Let's go shopping in Milan. Where would you go to understand Italy's legal system, right? And then once you understand Italy's legal system, if we pick the destination of Milan, because you guys know I love, I love shopping. I love it so much. The next step would be to understand the city of Milan's laws as well. And, and no one is expecting you guys to pull out an encyclopedia and start like looking up all the codes of a country. But there are lots of resources and one that I found super insightful. Recently, I went to Spain. I spent some time in Madrid. And one of the things that I did is I started with the US resources for travelers. The Department of State has great resources for travelers before you travel. We have embassies that are on the ground. So if there are protests and things, they send information to travelers that are there. Do you think Shorty Wap went to check out these resources? No, you know, other people have covered this all week. So I'm not gonna get in the details of what she did wrong. But I do need you guys to understand, yes, Countries can confiscate your passports if you break their laws. You are subject to them. I have another case that I'm working on right now for you guys where a young woman committed a crime and was locked up in another country. More on that later. I'm telling you, you're gonna wanna stay locked into this channel. Listen to me, look at me. You're gonna wanna hit that notification bell because I'm doing this documentary style. It's probably one of the longest videos I've ever produced. And I really wanted you guys to like, it's crazy. Just thinking about her, please hit the notification bell because that's the next video that I'm working on. I hope you guys got some information out of this that is useful because again, we're gonna cover the popular stuff all day, no problem. But at the same time, I do want you guys to walk away from this with legal information that is useful and helps tell the story a tad bit deeper. Anywho, I'm so happy to see you guys and I can't wait to talk to y'all in the comments. Let me know what you think. Do you guys look at this stuff before you travel? Did you learn something new? Does she look like she was gonna? Okay, I'll see y'all in the comments and see you in the next one, bye.